Hey, what it is, everybody. Hey, don't forget, next Friday, March the 8th, it's coming up in less than a week's time. We will see all of you all, whoever wants to participate as well, at the racetrack. Obviously, depending on how many races, I didn't privately rent out the track, but depending on how many racers and everything like that, again, we're still going to do that exhibition and everything like that. But again, anybody can come and race. I would still like to do that exhibition race. So, Friday, March the 8th, from 5.30, 5.45 to 11 p.m. We will see all of you there at PVIR. It is in West Palm, Jupiter, slash on the border, whatever, off Beeline Highway. So again, if you want to race, you have to have a helmet, you have to have a jacket, you have to have pants, and you have to have ankle high shoes. If you do pass 120 in the quarter mile, you do have to have leather pants. So just keep that in mind. And I hope to see all of you guys at the racetrack. If you have any questions, make sure you hit me up on Instagram or comment below. I'll try and read all of your comments and I will see all of y'all at the racetrack for some fun times, some meet and greet and some ass kickings. Peace. What it is, everybody? Thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Today I got a little bit of a product, a little helmet review. Now, I waited some time to actually uh, do this video because I really wanted to feel, you know, and feel out the helmets and feel out the products because it's kind of like a two-in-one. Now, I've had an old HJC helmet, so let me first and start off. This obviously, well, before I even get to my HJC, this is about the AGV K1 and obviously the Scenic uh, 30K. But I'm referencing my AGV, not my AGV, my HJC helmet uh, because I've had that helmet for about, I don't know, about 10, 11 years or so and done quite some miles with that helmet and it still works great. It is by far probably still the most comfortable. But I decided to get something that was going to be a little bit more modern, a little bit more snug, a little bit sportier, where the HJC helmet is more of a touring and pro touring style helmet. So I went ahead and picked up this uh, AGV K1, and it came with a clear visor. I went ahead and got the black one here. And as you can see from a side profile and everything, it's super sporty. It's got the wing, very similar to my Pista Grip. Uh, my Pista Grip, Pista GP. Let me actually grab that one. Okay, now you can see them side by side. As you can see, the Pista is still a little bit more aggressive, in my opinion, still a little bit too aggressive to ride on the street. And, and I'll get to what I mean by aggressive here in a couple minutes. But I primarily only use this helmet realistically when I'm racing. I really don't ride it much or use it much on the street. This is kind of now my turn to go to helmet, which I still think is kind of aggressive for the street. And let me kind of explain why. First and foremost, you can see where it's cut very short. Got that good European cut short as opposed to more of your touring style helmets. It's going to let in a little bit more air. When you're tucked down on a crotch rocket and stuff like that, you kind of want some of these things when you're going fast. Super aerodynamic, it works very well. It's also extremely in, in tight on your head. Now, when I don't say tight meaning like, oh, you should have got a bigger helmet, no. Tight meaning like the fit is very tight. It's designed to really grab your head. And when you turn left to right and you're looking around at 100, 150 miles an hour, it's not really designed to move at all on your head. Where some of the other helmets like your HJC helmet is really designed for you to be more comfortable. And you can go that fast, but it's not going to be as comfortable or aerodynamic and cut through the wind like this one. Now, I went ahead and also purchased the Cena 30K because Couple of my buddies have one. They kind of begged me to get one. Of course, it was also be good for my girl. When we're riding, we could talk and listen to music and stuff like that. And I don't always have to throw my AirPods in. Now, as far as the Cena and everything, it works great. I really don't have any complaints. I mean, the, the biggest complaint is that it just doesn't have a lot of bass. But that's pretty much it. But it, a lot of other individuals and reviews that have said the same thing online, obviously, about the Cena. Now, it doesn't really matter the uh the 10 20 or 30k obviously a big difference is the range and some of the features with the intercom so the cena 30k is the top model currently and i can't complain i actually do like it and uh, I, I would recommend it now here in this helmet due to the helmet and the inner structure and how it really hugs and molds your face you have the speakers and stuff which you can kind of see in there as well and then i have the microphone obviously on the other side 
Does it work in here? Yes, it does. Does it allow the microphone and everything to work well because of the chin guard? Absolutely, yes, it does. But when you're using my other helmet, such as my HJC, and I'll come over here and grab it so you guys can see it, you can see it's more of a traditional style helmet and more of a touring helmet. Now there's a lot more room. I still use this helmet a lot when I'm filming. Pretty much every video that I've done uh, on this channel, filming with the GoPro on a motorcycle has been done actually in this helmet. And it, it's just a more open style helmet, it, not only externally, but also internally. So when you threw, when I initially also had the Cena on this helmet. Now, I will say this, having the Cena on this helmet and have it being open, not so tight on your ears and stuff like that, and I actually kind of like it a little bit better here on this uh, touring style helmet than more of the aggressive style helmet like that we have over here. And when I say aggressive, when I say aggressive and stuff like that, so with these cuts and things like that, and how tight it is on your head. After riding in an hour or two of this style helmet, you feel like your head is kind of, like it has a, a, a strong piece of compression on it. And all of that kind of has to be there. And the, the w wind and airflow is just not as good, and but it's good for when, you, when you're going fast. And all the characteristics of when you're going fast, you want this in a helmet, but when you're kind of going slow and just cruising around town, you may want a helmet that's actually gonna be a little bit more touring like the HJC over there. And it's a little bit more open and it's, it's more comfortable. Your face can breathe, you can breathe a little bit better and everything like that. But when you tuck down and it's kind of bobbing all over your head and stuff like that, because of the style of the helmet, even if I step down a size, it's just still not the same. The helmet itself is not constructed the same to, to actually ride and go that fast like that style helmet, which I'm referring to over here. But overall, I do like the K1. It just prepare. It is a little bit aggressive. Uh, it looks badass. Uh, it, it may look kind of silly on a cruiser because it is very, as you can see, sporty and, and, and race inspired. Uh, but on a crotch rocket and stuff like that, uh, hell, like here on the BMW, I think it's like meant for this bike. Absolutely. But but when you're riding around and zipping around or doing some racing or doing some track days, for the price, uh, I can't absolutely uh, beat it. I think it, it, it's worth every dollar. It's pretty light. I think I paid 180 bucks for it from Revzilla. So make sure you check them out. And uh, if you want any other cool helmets, uh, you can, they, you can, they can also accommodate you on there. They have a great return policy if you don't like it or anything like that. Uh, they, they do fantastic customer service and everything like that and show you in-depth reviews of the helmets and everything. Almost very similar to like a try before you buy, actually before you buy the helmet so you know quite a bit about it. The only thing you really have to know is your head shape and just your head size. But back again to this uh, AGV K1, it is pretty race inspired, a little aggressive for the street for me, but I mainly own crotch rockets, so it kind of works a little bit for me. Now they do have a K3 and a K5, and some of them have toned down a little bit on the sportiness and the raciness, and also rather than having a black flip down visor, which you could still get, but it also has the sunglasses in the visor, or, or excuse me, inside of the helmet that come down within the visor, so. And I have worn that, and actually that helmet is right here. Let me grab that one for you. Oh, it is not. So actually, I believe it is the K3 or the K5, I can't remember. So my girl, she actually uses that one, and that one is like the perfect compromise between race aggressiveness for the street and touring comfort. It's a great commuter helmet. It's good up to a good mile per hour, but once you really start to get into them crazy excessive speeds, uh, you're definitely going to want to get a helmet that's more inspired for you to be tucked down, cut through the wind, tuck behind the windshield, and do a little bit more racing. So the Cena it works perfectly good inside these helmets because it does cut out a lot of the wind. Uh, you do have your vent holes and stuff like that so that it can obviously track air through. But I think for the price and everything like that and the looks, you really can't beat it. So I figured I'd share this with you. And if you guys are uh, contemplating on getting a new helmet or maybe a Cena 30K, even if you only get it for yourself. I really do think it's worth the money and I like it and 
I ride with it all the time now. So I hope this video you guys found informative and I hopefully that uh, will maybe help make your helmet and Cena buying decisions a little bit easier. And to me, the Cena, if you're like spending, I think the single pack is like 260 and the other one's like 220 for the next model down. I mean, if you're gonna spend all that all the way or almost all the way there, you might as well get the top dog and that's kind of how I saw it. So, but again, hopefully that helps you guys out more than anything, but uh, that's gonna wrap it up here for today's video. If you guys like what you saw, again, don't forget to subscribe. Facebook, Instagram, at the Speedbug, same name here as YouTube, and we will see you for another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Deuces.